Hello everyone, my name is Abigail Offenbaker and I would like to walk each of you through each component of my digital portfolio rubric that I have completed. Here on my teacher webpage you will see that I have included my classroom phone number, conference period, and my Twitter handle along with a short biography of myself. If we go over to Canvas, you can see on the landing page that I have linked my course content by each six-week term. You can see that by clicking here, and I'll open the tab, um, I have outlined my course expectations, so my syllabus, and then if you go back to my home page, I have my tutorial times, links to other student blogs, and again, each six weeks term that we are on. If you click on a term, you will see that I have linked the assignments for each day in a daily agenda format. Students know that when they log on to Canvas, they can log on and see uh, which week we are on and the breakdown for the day along with any links to assignments or downloads that they need to have. I would like to show you some different applications I have used with students. Along with Padlet, discussion boards, assignments, quizzes, and Google Slides and presentations. Um, here's one example of where I used a Google Slide. It was an assignment. Students worked with a group. And if I click on this link, which I'll open in a new tab, they were able to collaborate. Each group was given a different slide to add to. Um, just briefly overviewing the type of organizational pattern for their classmates, and then they presented. That's just one way that I've done this. There are many other Google Forms, Google Docs, and other slide presentations that I've used in the class throughout the year, though. Uh, other things that I've done are for projects such as this Romeo and Juliet portfolio project. I've created rubrics so students know exactly what score they will get before they even begin their project and what is expected of them each step of the way. Here's an example of that. My students have had uh, the opportunity to collaborate, like I was saying, on assignments by using Google Slides. That's one example. And again, there are others that I could show as well. Oh, I'll just click on them. Um, so you can see that here we broke down the star essay ratings, the scale, where they had to explain what different things meant. We went over different vocabulary. Um, and they had to define certain things for dramatic vocabulary as well. In terms of flipped lessons, uh, here's one example of a flipped lesson, I guess you could say. When we did the Romeo and Juliet project for InDesign, that was a new program for a lot of them. So the different components that I needed them, such as how to even open up an InDesign document and how to start the cover page and things, there's a different tutorial each step of the way. Here's one for creating a timeline, and then one for just simply inserting a picture into their document. So these allowed them to go home, watch the tutorial, and work at their own pace while I was still there to guide them. You can see that students are commenting on discussion boards. So this is an example of student engagement in my Canvas course. I broke uh, the discussion boards down by class period, so I didn't have everyone commenting, so I used the group feature. And then another example of student engagement would be here. You can see that for one assignment, I had 93 students turn in their work. Uh, my students are using Canvas. We do use it on a daily basis between quizzes, assignments, um, everything, really. I think it's a great thing. Anyway, so uh, that was my digital portfolio. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.